Hi, I'm Ron Spomer, and I'm nuts about North America's wild sheep. They are some of the most dramatic fighters in nature. North American wild sheep are some splendid animals that really attract a lot of attention because A, they're fairly rare, and B, they've got these incredible horns. Those things have fascinated people for thousands of years. You know the old ram's horn that they used to blow in the Bible? They all actually made horns out of these things, and that's where the word horn comes from. It's a horn. Now, a horn starts growing as soon as that little sheep lamb is born. He's growing those little nubbins, and they continue to grow throughout its life, never shed like an antler. So you can tell how old a ram is by counting its growth rings. In the first year, they've just got this little bit of a horn coming out here, and that's one year of growth. And then they'll have bit of a ring right there because in the winter they run out of food and there's no horn growth so it sort of piles up like a tree ring. Two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half year old ram. That's a fully mature ram. They don't last much longer than about 10 or 13 years. It's hard living out there. There's a lot of predators after them. They fall, they smash themselves when they're fighting. And a 13 year old ram is about as big as it's going to get and then its teeth are probably going to be so worn down that it'll die from starvation if it doesn't get picked off by a wolf. But in the meantime, it continues to grow these incredible horns and they can weigh up to 30 pounds. Can you imagine walking around with 30 pounds on your head? Oh my gosh, have they got some muscles. And they've also got some incredible tendons and special joints inside of their vertebrae to withstand the incredible impact when they're budding heads. They smash heads to establish hierarchy. Who's the big ram in the bunch? So all year the bachelor rams are living together and they're constantly butting heads just to feel one another out because they don't want to waste time fighting with someone they can't beat. By bashing heads all summer, when the rut comes along and they have to decide who's going to be the master of the ewes, well, they don't have to waste time fighting the big guy. They already know he gets preference. So they smash heads at about 15 miles an hour. Bam! And then they stop and they sort of freeze and they turn their head like this to show the ram that they just smashed into what that horn looks like. And as they do that day after day and year after year, they learn size of horn relates to impact pressure. So they say, well, wait a minute, this new guy I see over here has got a really big horn. I'll bet you he's going to hurt because I've seen that size of horn before and I know what it feels like. I'm not going to mess with him. Big horn sheep, doll sheep, stone sheep, all the North American wild sheep are incredible animals. Hey, thanks for joining me. If you want more information, visit ronspomeroutdoors.com.